Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 11 and see how it holds up against the iPhone XR in 2023. Now both these phones are very interesting. If you want to pick up any of these phones I would recommend this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there, you can also support the channel at the same time. Now starting off side by side, you may have already kind of been able to tell, but both these phones had a very similar styling on the front and there really wasn't anything crazy between them at that moment. With the iPhone XR that came out in 2018, this, in my opinion, was a very, very, you know, weird phone when it first came out, but it quickly became a really, it kind of became like the fan favorite. It was a $750 phone back then, and I do think at this day and age, it's kind of pulled up fairly well. It is, you know, turning five years old this year, and if you look at the front 6.1 inch Retina IPS panel, it really isn't that big of a deal. You know, I still think it holds up kind of well on the front display, face ID on the front, you know, kind of thicker bezels compared to other phones nowadays, but I don't think it's a bad phone by any means. And the iPhone 11 pretty much had the same exact front, but when this phone came out a year after, in 2019, this phone actually ended up kind of having a cheaper price tag, so it was $699 compared to $749, and it was ultimately the same exact display for the most part, which was nice. And, you know, I think this panel is held up fairly well, you know, same exact thing as the iPhone XR. You have the Face ID on the front, you have a little bit of thick bezel compared to a lot of phones nowadays, like I mentioned before, but it's not a big deal. And I think overall, it's definitely not like a bad looking phone by any means. Now, in terms of thinness and thickness, you can also kind of tell that both of them are fairly similar here too. There's not really like a massive difference. I think they were almost identically the same. And funny enough, these are both the white colors and you can even kind of see, maybe it's hard to tell over the camera, but they are slightly ever so different. The iPhone 11 seems more like light gray. The iPhone XR seems like full gray. We have the lightning ports at the bottom, which is great. And on the back, we do have a very different setup. So with the iPhone 11, we had a dual camera setup, a wide and an ultra wide camera. The iPhone XR, we had a single you know, camera, which I think this is probably one of the bigger differences here. By having a phone like the iPhone XR, you were kind of, kind of limiting yourself in terms of the future of that phone, mostly because of its camera. The iPhone 11, I think, holds up much better in this situation because it does actually have that extra ultra-wide sensor. So I think that is a really big thing, and that in and of itself is a really, really big deal. Now we have wireless charging on the back of both these phones. We have IP certification as well. So those are some pretty big, you know, cool things. But I think ultimately when it kind of comes down to it, both these phones hold up fairly well in this day and age. And I do think with a phone like the iPhone 11, it may actually hold up a little bit better than the iPhone XR, not only because of its newer internals, but also because of its exterior features like the camera. So that kind of covers it up there. Now in terms of software and longevity, the iPhone XR, because it is the older phone here, it's definitely probably not going to last as long as the iPhone 11. So that is kind of one of the sad things, but that's kind of what's expected. When you have a phone like the iPhone XR that's, you know, been out longer, it's not going to last as long as the newer phones. But I also don't think the iPhone XR is going to last that much, no, less than the iPhone 11. I truly do think this is going to be one of those times where it's probably going to be like a year within each other. So if the iPhone XR gets unsupported with software, most probably the iPhone 11 is going to be discontinued maybe within, you know, a year after that. I don't see the iPhone 11 lasting years and years on top. I could be totally wrong, but. I guess we'll kind of wait and see, but the iPhone 11 is going to be the one that lasts longer. So now let's go and do speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone XR has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with three gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are clear in the background. The iPhone XR is to the left. The iPhone 11 is on the right. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Music, three, two, one. And the iPhone 11 was faster there. The iPhone XR, a little bit behind. They were on two different panels, so keep that in mind. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one. And the iPhone XR was actually faster there. Scrolling through, let's see if there's any differences here. And it doesn't really look like that big of a difference, but the iPhone XR did actually load this one up faster, which is very, very surprising. Let's get into their cameras, three, two, one. And kind of the same thing, let's take a photo. Okay, let's open up this photo. The iPhone 11, I think, was slightly faster there. Let's go and get into their clocks. Three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Okay, let's go and get into settings. Three, two, one. Perfect. Let's get hop out of here. Now we do have some of these third-party applications we can go and test out. So let us get into it. Snake first blocks. Three, two, one. And I have to keep pushing my iPhone 10 up because it keeps sliding off. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go and get into some gameplay here. 
and you can definitely tell the iPhone XR did stutter a little bit in the beginning with, but did kind of equal out a little bit, you know, later on. Thank you. Three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone XR was a little bit slower here as well. Gameplay-wise, it's going to be very similar. Hopping out of here. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 11 was the faster one here. Stack, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone XR actually loaded in the ad a little bit faster there. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Let's do Subway Surfers, which I don't think I have here, so we'll skip that. Let's do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And again, the iPhone 11 is the faster one. So I think overall, when it comes down to both these, the iPhone 11 is probably the faster one, which is probably expected because it is a newer phone. But I still think the iPhone XR does a great job. And I think this is still a very, very good performing phone for the most part as well. But the iPhone 11 is clearly, I think, the faster one here. So that kind of covers it up there. Now in the camera department, as I mentioned before, they both have fairly different cameras. So with the iPhone XR, we had that single camera lens. With the iPhone 11, we have that dual camera setup. And again, when you are in a situation like this, having a camera like the iPhone 11 is probably going to do you better. So we can do 4K at 60 on the back of both these cameras. But the iPhone XR can only do 1080p at 60 on the front, where the iPhone 11 can do 4K at 60 on the front. So that is another thing to keep in mind. You're definitely probably going to be getting a better camera setup for sure on the iPhone 11 than on the iPhone XR, at least in my opinion. Now, in my opinion, you know, from my experience of using the iPhone XR camera, it's been good. Again, you don't have that ultra right sensor where you can zoom out or zoom out a lot, but you still can zoom in and out a little bit wherever you want to do. You have the standard video mode, you have portrait mode. You don't really have a crazy amount of features on really both of these cameras, but you get the job done and no matter what you're going to want to do for the most part, you're probably going to be fine, you know, for sure, at least in my opinion. So the XR camera still perfectly fine. There's not really a crazy amount to complain about. The iPhone 11 camera though, I think is probably the better one as I mentioned like 30, 30 times before. With this camera you are getting that 4K at 60 on the front and the back which is nice. You're also getting that 0.5x zoom so you can even see a little bit of my finger here. You can't even see that on the iPhone 11, which you can on the iPhone, or you can't see that on the iPhone 10R, which you can on the iPhone 11. You still have 5x zoom, which I think is good enough for a lot of people. I wish this thing had a telephoto lens but then you could just get the iPhone 11 Pro at that moment. So. The iPhone 11 still has a lot of features built in, and I think when it comes down to it, the iPhone 11 I think is probably the better phone here. I've always liked the iPhone 11, it's always been a really really good phone, and I do think this is probably the one I will recommend most people to buy. With the iPhone XR, I think this is a good phone too for the price tag, like if you're still owning an iPhone XR, I'd probably just recommend keeping it, but the iPhone 11 is probably the one I'd recommend buying out of these two. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.